Hey everybody, Kate here. I'm giving you your video today for the Simply Human podcast that we did regarding neural control and neural drive. So to review, or in case you haven't listened to the podcast yet, we did two drills on the show that you'll wanna to listen to and then go back and follow through with the setup positions I'm gonna show you today so that you can try them yourself. Neural control has to do with your brain and your nervous system connecting to your body and knowing how to move it through its range of motion that's possible for it. So part of why joints are immobile sometimes is because um, not necessarily they just don't stretch enough, um, but sometimes your brain doesn't know that it's safe for it to go into that position. Your brain and your nervous system, they're not really talking to the muscles very well, and maybe they don't have a great signal that tells them, yes, it's safe to stretch your arm all the way behind your back. We're about to get swallowed by the sun here, so sorry about that. Um, but the, it tells your body that it's safe to be in some kind of stretch or flexibility position. I went through this myself um, with my right shoulder and an old injury. I thought I just didn't have the mobility in this arm to go overhead, but it turns out my brain wasn't accessing the ability to use the scapula thoracic joint and the glenohumeral joint as part of the shoulder and so I'd lift the arm up and it could go to about here but after teaching it to control it actually can lift all the way up without having to compensate in some other way and I had to do drills to get there. Uh, two drills I'm going to show you today um, they're not for that particular issue but they're to help you get the idea of neural control and how it works. So I'm going to show you the setup for the first one. You basically, here I'll hold this, here we go. So you're gonna have your arm on the wall like this. This is what Rick was doing when he was on the wall. And what he was trying to do was lean forward till he feels a stretch right here in the pack and in the shoulder, okay? So I feel a nice stretch right there. And then I'm gonna have, I had him push into the wall. I'm gonna have you do that now with me if you're trying this. And so it's isometric, you don't see anything happen. You don't see me pushing into the wall. You see just tension as I'm acting as if I'm pushing my arm forward this way using right here to do that. And then I'm gonna pull my arm back and try to squeeze my arm off the wall again. It's not really gonna move because I'm just using the muscles back here to act like I'm doing this, but instead I'm just really squeezing hard and trying to make the movement really subtle. And we did that for a few times, and then I had him lean in to wherever he could feel the stretch again. And he started at kind of a normal spot that people start at, and he gained quite a bit of mobility by the time that he was done. Now, that is transient mobility that he got um, this first time he did that. And listen to the podcast to understand what I mean by that and why. The second drill that I want to show to you is just the setup for the 90-90 position. So, I'm going to set you down for a second. It's just me today. Normally I have a cameraman. Sorry. So we're gonna set up our 90-90 position and get swallowed by the sun here. Okay, so it looks like this. Here's your first 90 degree angle. Here's my hips, body, and then here's the back 90 degree angle. So take a look at how it comes straight out the side from the hip and then at a right angle from there, back and down. That's the setup that you're gonna, oops, hi, hi. That's the setup that you're going to go back into um, when you do the 90-90 drill. And you're going to have to listen to the entire podcast to get all of the uh, focus points and tips for how to do that drill correctly um, and listen to all of the fun stuff that we talked about as we talked about neural control and drive. I do want to say one thing and remind you about this. I said this on the podcast, but I want to like really drive this point home. Neural drive. Oh, do I want to drive this point home? I'm just going to talk about neural drive. Yes. I love it when puns work. Um, is that a pun? Yeah, that's kind of a pun, right? Anyways, moving on. Um, neural drive is more the act of you saying to your brain, like, lift your arm, lift your arm, lift your arm. Even though you don't have the strength to lift your arm yet, you're sending as much signaling and firing to that part of your body to act as if it was about to do what you're asking it to do. And as you do the 90-90 drill, you're probably going to find that you can't do it the first or second or even third time. Like, you want to do what I'm telling you to do, but your body's just like, okay, that's okay. Why not? What I always tell my clients when I tell you now is act as if. Act as if you can do what I'm asking you to do. And you'll be sending signals from your brain through your nervous system to your muscles and getting more muscle fibers to collect in this process of firing. So eventually, they fire well and you succeed at the drill, and you have more muscle fibers working to make you more strong, to make you more better, to make you more simply human. Okay, I'm Kate, checking out from the sun-engulfed room here in Utah. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.